Hey y'all, coming to you from International Headquarters, Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2022 Good Guys Nashville Nationals, and I came across a very cool 1935 Ford pickup I think y'all are going to like. Let me get the camera turned around, we'll take a quick look at it. Justin and Gary, how are you guys? How are you yourself? Yeah, we're doing yeah, great. Good. Take two, I'm going to give you, yeah. very rarely do people get a second shot at this. <laughs> but, okay, hopefully we do better. No, you did fine the first time, of course I'm the one that messed it up. Tell me, uh, tell me a little bit about the truck you brought today. That's a 1935, actually you should probably go to him. Yeah, yeah, we'll start oh, with no, you. It's a 1935 Ford pickup truck, originally on a farm and uh, we put aside for a number of years. It was part of a family and their farm and uh, we were lucky enough to find it and uh, bring it back and restore it. Is it like a one owner kind of a thing? Uh, actually, the owner that we got it from, he wasn't sure if it was his dad's or his uncle's, okay. but it was just kind of like on the farm. Right. And they used it to uh, do their ta you know, chores and even bring some of the cows into the barn too. So it had been bit. in the family forever. It had been. was one it, owner, it, it was been in the family We're forever. assuming it is, and everything he knew was it originally 35 was purchased by the family. Right. And then uh, they used it for a number of years. Uh, he retired out of the farming business and put it in his uh, garage, which was next to the barn. Okay. And uh, it so sat there. So a garage there. find? It was a garage find, yeah. Right. So, uh, and uh, were you set on a 35? We wanted to get something in an era that was back when um, cars were just kind of becoming uh, developing. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the 35 uh, era in terms of our country was, uh, I think, a, a great nostalgia, some, some great things, some bad things, but uh, the development of our other country. And we thought, find a car or a truck that was in that era that we could um, replicate and bring back to life to kind of um, you know pay homage to the right. uh, that time era. A little tribute. Yes, yeah. that's a great way to put it. And have you been a Ford man for a long time? Um, I have been, yes. Yeah. Yes. So, uh, and then, then the decision to, when we went to do the parts, was to put a Ford engine in there too as well. You have to. Had to. Anymore, you have to. Yeah. Four you power know. by four. Yeah, I know, I know old four. school is, you know, put a small block Chevy in it. Yes. I know that it worked forever, but that was back before crate motors coming from everybody. Mm -hmm. So, yep. and I have a Mustang, so I'm well aware of the hoops you must jump in, jump through to deal with mm -hmm. Ford. Yes. So, mm -hmm. now I applaud you for that. And it's not yeah. just any Ford motor you put in there. No, we uh, were able to get out of a, a GT350 they were making, Ford was making, um, a, a, a 5.2 liter Voodoo engine, so it's like a step up uh, from the Coyote, but it's a it's a flat plane. Motor. It's a flat plane, yeah. and it's kind of designed basically. They didn't like make them long, did they? About two three, years? two three years. Yeah, and that was it. All right. Yeah. No, oh, how cool is that? Very cool. Naturally Very cool. aspirated. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. Was that hard to do? Well, I think we just pulled it out. It got it worked a little bit. It's got a. So you bought a car. Wreck car, uh, well, or you got a crate motor. We, oh no, we, we bought a car okay. that had a um, wreck. The, right. the front bumper and the back bumper. Right. And that's about it. Oh man. So they must have told We got the yeah. engine and training out of it, and then uh, we started our build. But you already had a cool car. Wasn't it hard to just like poop can that <laughs> Shelby and be like, you yeah, know? Yeah, I mean, if it was just that, I'd be like. We got to turn into an autocross car or something and go find another one. <laughs> yeah, it was a, a decision, but yeah. uh, we kind of set ourselves. We had the truck, uh, the 35 to begin with. Right. Then we got the engine afterwards. Yeah. So we kind of said, you know, we need to keep going with the project. You've been waiting for that. You're we ready had, to go. Yeah. So tell me some of the modifications you made to it. Well, to make that massive engine fit in there, a whole custom chassis got built by Raw Speed up in Vermont. So, and then the body was a little bit rotted, so I had to make the whole new floor braces and match the frame, build the custom floor, make the rockers, fix a lot of rock, customize the firewall. The, fender, the front fenders, running boards, and rear fenders all got stretched two and a half inches wide to fit those big tires under there. Had to do some metal work and get them ready for paint to get everything sent out to make molds for carbon fiber. So all the fenders and running boards are 100% carbon fiber wow, and everything. Crazy, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, and so. y'all didn't like expose any of it. So well, we exposed it, the nice little ribs that are on top of the running board. You see, that's not glued on strips. That's we never we didn't paint that, so okay. we left that exposed to give that carbon fiber feel. But yeah, you okay. wouldn't really know unless right. you looked for it. So. And so the rest, the center of the truck is all original. The truck center of the truck's all original, except besides for all the, all the modification I had to do to it. Which oh, yeah. we all understand mm -hmm. that. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of changes. Sometimes those things are easier just to make the cab i would think than to take the to an extent like you're it. almost yeah, yeah you're know. almost at that point because that thing was probably gone up to the belt line on the doors and correct. corners are gone and floors were gone the whole back panel oh, i yes. had to make absolutely right nothing mm -hmm. right i mean you're a roof and windows mm -hmm. openings which pretty much it it's hard pretty to make, much so it. <laughs> yeah, yeah go yeah. with that yeah no, what color is it it's the Glatherith. We made, we worked with Glatherith. We found a color. We made our own color, basically working with dumping paints in. But we like to call it. We call it uh, Glatherith Deja Voodoo Green. And the and Deja Voodoo is for the name of the truck. Right on. Yeah. And so, can people get that color? Um, a lot of times, some custom colors they put them in the catalog after they make them. So. Um, we're not sure where they're heading with it, right. but uh, I would suspect they might. We had a lot of great response to it, and uh, BASF and Glasher has been great help for us. Right on. What size tires and wheels does it have? There are 325 in the back, and then a three 235s in the front, oh, okay. and there are 19s in the front and 20s in the back. 
Um, mm -hmm. It was actually with the uh, Willwood brakes. Right. That was the uh, the 19 inch was the smallest tire that would work with the design we came up with the, uh, for the wheel. It was the smallest that would fit with the brakes. Right. Okay. So, but it worked out nice. No, it does. Right. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, you got to have some big meats on the back. Oh yeah. Yes. And it's got a great stance. Oh yeah. That's where it sits. It's not on air or anything. No, it's not on other coilovers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what about exactly. the interior? It's all custom too. I made the dash from scratch. It's all metal work, and then the rest of the interior was done up by Gillian Interiors up in uh, New York. They did everything, all great work, all the the basket, the basket weaving. weaving. I'm sorry, yeah, yep. the basket weaving, the headliner, all that stuff. But yeah, it fits real nice. It looks clean. It kept it simple, nothing crazy. Shaved the door handles, all that stuff inside. Yep. And he also had to take for the headliner. It's a one piece, so he actually carbon fiber, not carbon fiber, fiberglass, uh, the the backing. Then was able to put the headliner on it. And then with the, the tunnel, he actually created a, a fiberglass tunnel over the, the transmission tunnel that gave us a place to run things through too. Okay. So little details. Yeah, it's all in the details. Well, it's right? a lot of a lot of stuff to fit in a little truck. So you got to find every nook and cranny. You can hide stuff to keep it clean, like all the wires, all the braking system, all the electronics, the air conditioning, all that stuff. So. How long has it been done? Uh, this is what the second show we got to. Yeah, so, finished right. it up in April, or close to finish. There's still a couple of details sure, here sure. and there, but uh, first show was in was in, uh, the good guys in uh, Raleigh, and this is our second show. How'd you do in Raleigh? Uh, we won uh, Truck of the Year early finalist, right. which puts us in the running for the uh, the final at the end. But yeah. we were just ecstatic to be recognized. No, no doubt about it, man. That's a big deal to get good guys to pick up on a truck yeah. like that. Yeah. yeah. And so where is it going now? You're going to show it all year? We are. We yeah. are going to head to uh, Good Guys in Iowa then uh, over to uh, Columbus, and then we are going to head to Syracuse, and then uh, Shades of the Past. Okay. And It'll be uh, in my neighborhood, my, my backyard. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, so we're going to be taking it around to shows along those that those lines there. Awesome. And if you can find a sponsor, SEMA. That's right. We're hoping. Mm -hmm. We're still looking at SEMA. We have some people that are interested and in, we're talking to, but, right. uh, you know, until it's finalized, yep. you never know. No, I'm with you. And so anybody out there that's got a spot for SEMA, this would be a good truck for it, especially if you've got something to do with Fords or Hot Rods or whatever. Uh, it's absolutely beautiful colors. Anything oh, about you. it I'm missing? No, I think Brand it's just a lot of uh, love and time yeah. and a lot of fit and take apart and fit again to make sure it all worked so that when it was done, it was done. Right. You know, we weren't sitting back going, oh, wow, we should have done or this, that kind of thing. So, this isn't your first rodeo. It's not. <laughs> no. no. You know, no. I mean, because a lot of, especially first time car builders mm -hmm. don't understand that, yeah, that's how you have to do in the end. So like you said, you're not, yeah. you don't have regrets. Yep. Because again, I tell people, if you spend a million dollars and you're happy, then you're happy. But if you spend a hundred grand and you're unhappy, then it didn't work for you. So exactly. it's really not about the money you spend. It's about the quality of work and getting the design and the styling that you're looking for that makes you happy. And I got to so. say, as the owner, uh, uh, that working with these guys was just a great privilege and uh, pleasure. Right. And uh, we, it's a great relationship we have. We try to make it enjoyable for the customer at the same time. You know, I know they're spending a lot of money, but you try to make it enjoyable for them too. Yeah. Give them what they're asking Plenty for. Plenty of pain at that checkbook mm -hmm. every week. Mm -hmm. So try to make it happy for them. Exactly. I'm with you. Guys, you rocked it, man. Very cool truck. Well, thank you. Thanks thank so you much for giving me time Appreciate today. It. Pleasure talking with you. So there you go from the 2022 Good Guys Nashville Nationals, a very cool 1935 Ford pickup truck. Hope you all have enjoyed it. See ya! Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.